Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Coupe Z51 2LT in Corvette Racing Yellow Tint Coat on Black Interior. Uh, so we'll just start over at the rear of the vehicle, let you have a look at the trunk area. Uh, so this one has the glass or transparent top. Uh, so from the outside, as you can see, it looks like it's, uh, it's black. From the inside looking through, uh, it has a blue tone to it, a tinted blue tone, and it is see-through. So there it is from the inside. In the trunk, we've got the Corvette uh, charger. Uh, we've got an additional front license plate mount, and we've got a Corvette cover there as well. In the corner, there's storage down below, and uh, we'll lock this back in place. And I'll just show you, it's got the privacy screen, so there's one piece there and there's one piece up here. So when you have items in the trunk, um, they will be private like so. So here it is from the back. It's got the nice Z51 color matched spoiler. Uh, we've got the chrome badge package. We've got the uh, LED tail lights with the carbon flash metallic surrounds. We've got the quad tip NPP performance exhaust. So the two outer ports have dampers on them that open and close electronically to make the exhaust louder or quieter based on your setting. So we'll shift around. Here's your rear wheel. It's got the nice black gloss black Z51 wheels. We've got yellow painted calipers and nice Michelin tires on there. Uh, over at the passenger side, uh, we've got the nice baseball stitching, we've got our power windows, power locks, and the nice 10 speaker Bose stereo. Here's the kick plate on the passenger side, it's in good shape as you can see. Um, you know, one or two little minor scuffs on it, very, very light, um, but we'll polish it, we'll make it look the best we can for you. Uh, for the power seat, we've got power four, aft up, down, power recline, lumbar, and side bolster, and uh, adjustment. So I'll just go ahead and scan up the seat so you can see the condition. It's got the nice baseball stitching and the chrome um, Corvette logo there on the headrest. So as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and clean. Um, we've got heated and cooled seat here for the passenger. Uh, so I'll just show you that. And then this is temperature display for the passenger and temperature control. It's got a nice baseball stitching on the lower as well as on the upper portion of the dash. Uh, in the glove box, we do have the books and the wheel lock key is here in the bag. Uh, so we'll just hop out and we'll close this side up. Uh, we've also got the nice carbon flash metallic mirror covers, which are nice. And we'll just step back here to the end and I'll uh, move along this side of the vehicle so you can see the condition. And at the front here, we've got the uh, chrome badge as well, um, carbon flash vent. And uh, we've got the front wheel. So again, nice high gloss black wheels. We've got the red, or excuse me, yellow calipers with the heavy duty brakes and the nice Michelin tires. Under the hood, we've got the V8 6.2 liter motor, which is 460 horsepower. And that's paired to a seven speed manual transmission. And as you can see, it's nice and tidy under here. In the corner here, we do have our dry sump oil, which is a part of the Z51 package. You also get the rear diff cooler and the transmission cooler. Uh, this one has the mag rider adjustable suspension. Um, and on the hood liner, we've got the nice embossed Corvette logo as well. So we'll go ahead, we'll close the uh, hood. Uh, we do have two keys with it as well. And I'll show you here at the front. So it's got the nice black housing, uh, projector HID headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED turn signals. Uh, we've got the nice chrome insert there on the front bumper. Looks good. Um, in terms of issues, I'll just take a close look, see if there's anything here to point out. Um, looks pretty clean. And I see a little bit of rubbing there, which is common on these. Uh, it's very, very slight. Um, and outside of that, it looks fantastic. There's nothing that I see to point out, which is great. So we'll continue on to the other side. Uh, so here's your other wheel. So again, nice uh, black, gloss black Z51 wheels, yellow calipers, heavy duty brakes, Michelin tires, and same thing here on the back. Fantastic. So we'll move on to the driver's side. So at the driver's side, we've got our power windows, we've got our power locks, uh, two user programmable memory, programmable exit button, electronic door release, and the nice baseball stitching. Uh, here's the kick plate on the driver's side. So a little bit of minor scuffing you see there. Um, again, we'll polish it. We'll make it look the best we can for you. Uh, for the power seat, we've got power four, aft up, down, power recline, lumbar and side bolster adjustments. And again, I'll just go ahead and scan up that seat so you can see the condition. Awesome. So as we get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and tidy. We'll get in, we'll fire this one up. Issues there on the dash 
Over here we've got our cruise control. Uh, down below we've got our favorites or track change. Um, on this side we've got our volume keys. Above we've got the arrow keys and uh, the select button. So I'll just show you here on the dash. We get info, performance, audio, phone, nav, and options. Uh, we've got telephone hang up, telephone answer, and voice command. You got rev match on and off. Same with this one over here, on and off. Rev match will rev the, uh, the engine to match the speed of the transmission automatically when you're downshifting. Uh, over here we've got power tilt in telescopic steering column. We've got heads up display controls. We've got dimmer dash uh, or dash dimmer switch, uh, power mirrors, and then trunk release and motion alarm for the interior on and off. Um, so I'll just show you uh, the heads up display here. So we can move the image, we can brighten it up. Um, and then I can also cycle through some different screens that you can display up there. So that's neat. Over here, we've got our push button st uh, start. Uh, we've got behind screen storage with a USB port. And uh, we'll go to the home screen, we've got audio. So audio is gonna be AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth streaming. Uh, I can see on the screen, the screen is flashing on my phone, but in person it's not. It's just the refresh rate on the phone. Uh, you've got telephone uh, controls, nav, so we've got full uh, factory navigation there. Uh, PDR, so it's actually got a camera uh, just in this box here, right above the mirror. Um, so you can put an SD card in and you can record yourself driving through that camera. Um, so, oh, we are lo looked at nav. If I put it in reverse here, um, there's your backup camera. And then down below, we've got our uh, climate control. So this is the driver's temp and passenger temp. I've got heated and cooled seat for the driver, secondary controls for the passenger, and the nice Corvette Stingray placard there. There's your seven speed manual shifter, cup holders, 12 volt socket, electronic parking brake, and mode selector. So when we twist the mode selector, we get touring, sport, track, weather, eco, and touring. Um, so you can uh, change the drive mode and the feel. And in here, we've got two USB ports, auxiliary line in, SD card slot, and 12 volt socket. There's your frameless auto dimming rear view mirror with OnStar, and you've got an auto dimming uh, driver's side mirror as well. So now we'll just hop out with the running. We'll have a look and a listen. Nice bark to it. Sounds fantastic. So I'll just show you here at the front with the headlights on see what that looks like sharp looking car and we'll just move along this side Chevrolet Corvette Z51 2LT here and available at MonroeMotors.com. Come on down and have a look at this one for yourself. Look forward to seeing you real soon.